Hey everyone, Barry here from TGS with another ATS live stream. It is number 22 here with Knight. Hello. We're going to be hopping in and hitting the highways. Pretty much thumbs it up in a nutshell. Maybe some back roads while we're at it. But uh, yeah, let's climb out the intro. We'll get the gameplay go from there. Should be relatively short. Is, this is it for the schedule. Nothing tomorrow. GTA 5 story returns on Monday. As for game itself, just making money. Finally have almost a half mil in this game. So I'm hoping tonight we can get over 500k in bank. Just because uh, yeah, it'd be a miracle from how it started out with me losing money every stream. Like the entire stream is worth the money from like a few accidents. So come a long way. Let me knock on the table real quick. <laughs> like sub link description. Got a uh, 7.2 KD in this game. And uh, random chat. It's pretty much it. I was watching Full Metal Jacket and I'm here. We ran uh, Hella Loose earlier and then I was in Surgency Sandstorm. Surgency went wrong, but it was not my fault, so I accepted it. But uh, yeah, I gotta accept this job and get on our way. We just clone it. I don't know why, yeah, I don't know why I'm moving. Just trying to get out of your way for no reason. Let's see. You can take the same job. Bam. Yes, please. We want to make money. Uh, you fucking dismissed your trailer, you dumbass. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'll just run this as is. Now you say I'm in a trailer, man. It's not used to, uh... Just rushing through the menus. You gotta read what you're seeing, man. <laughs> Sorry, if I'm violently swerving. But uh, I, I, I agree. I'm just not used to it at all, so... I used to be able to just click through that. Just numb to clicking those buttons to move on, because yeah, you get the edit. Impulse. Can't connect this thing that I hit. Motherfucker getting in my way. You believe this shit, man? Yeah, the prop was just aiming for <laughs> you, man. Went all the way out of its way to hit me. I just lost going? my trailer. <laughs> I'm ready to go, you ready? Pick up your shit, man. No, I'm just kidding with it. Can I get in over there? Or do I gotta just, just go over this fucking yeah, this, this is all fine. I was on the complete opposite side of the ground, so. Enough goofing off. Let's get this loaded up. Hey, I got much to learn. Just so used to being broke and not having my own trailer and have my truck in debt. <laughs> so I would spend like half the streams on this channel, just me being in debt. Then ending up in like worse debt because I had flipped the truck over like three times in a stream. What did I, did I hit the same thing, dude? <laughs> what are you coming over there for, man? Just right around. <laughs> Make it harder on yourself. There we go. There's no way that's the trailer being caught. My front tire has got to be getting stuck on something. I'm going to turn left further. Oh no, my left side's getting caught on something. I'm stupid. I tried to turn it so far left. You can't see. Use your external camera if you need to. Yeah, I should have. But like I, uh, that was stupid of me. But I thought it was on the right, so I shifted ultra left, but there was something on my left, but I didn't notice it because I'm in, I don't have a wide view. I'm on a giant TV, but. What are you doing? I thought you were still parked here, man. I was looking at the map. Plus, that was definitely not the right. You're trailer caught in the building. Yeah, I see. You're not. That's what I've been looking at this whole time. Just... You gotta press F2 twice. 
Can I really not cut through here? <laughs> You're making it so hard on yourself, bro. The game should just let me go through there. Why the hell is there invisible walls? That's messed up. Come on, man. ATS. You're trying to drive onto the railroad tracks. Yeah, I could, in real life, I could cross them. Yeah, it might be bumpy, but it wouldn't be an invisible wall. I'm trying to drive straight out. See if I can get out of here. There we go. And it felt like I was going to get through before I hit the invisible wall, so it messed with me. Yo, what the? Well, we're in the yellow truck. He pulled out of that, but it looked like he was... I couldn't tell how he was turning from how he turned. He was blocking traffic. <laughs> so, hold on everybody. This newbie over here is trying to catch you. We gotta turn around anyway. Just pull you in. Press F2 twice. You double it up on your left mirror and you don't have a right one. Thank you. I don't know what the hell. I did that last time. I was wondering what was going on. But you only told me about that, I think, last stream. I'm not used to that at all. I'm just used to winging it off of one beer. Which is not optimal. I need that widescreen and I need a... Uh, brain fart of name, but the uh, head tracker. And then I can actually make this a much better experience. Like, probably tenfold. Well, I don't have a wider view. I can actually see like you would out of your normal eye in kind of a way. So, you know, just have the limitation of 90 FOV, whatever the hell this is. And on top of that, I can turn my head left and right and actually see what's going on. Which be awesome for other games like Star Citizen too. so... They did something to the head tracker. It's ultra sensitive. This update, it's really bothering me. Are you using it tonight or no? Yeah. Toby, that's the name. There we go. Click. Let me get over his fire trucks. Tell me he wants to pass. I was kidding, but don't want to be blocking a fire truck. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> he got behind me. Man, I'm still working on the grand scheme of my man cave, but this game in itself makes me like have to think about it. So all the other games we play, just having the widescreen monitor and this and that would be good enough. But ATS always just, I'm so used to that immersive experience. I'm on like a 65 inch 4K screen playing in 4K right now. The wheel's bigger than it would be in real life almost. <laughs> it's hard to tell. I'd have to like compare it to a real wheel, but. This makes it a stim experience to me. I don't think a 30 inch current monitor is going to do that. Give me more FOV, but will it feel more sim? Probably not. For as wide as it is, it lacks in height. So I'm not sure what I'll do. Well, the head tracker with this would be perfect, though. But I'll be a new adventure in itself because I gotta learn how to play games with a head tracker on and not worry about any of my head movements. Gotta like hold my head stiff while I'm trying to like. It gets. Check it's my very phone. natural. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. The only, the only game that I don't like a head tracker is uh, Hunter Call of the Wild because they don't have a fucking pause button. Every other game with a head tracker, you can pause it or disable it entirely. But in the Hunter, you have to go into the menu <laughs> and turn it off. And I've asked like multiple times over the years. We haven't played that multiple. 
we'll have to uh, bring it back at some point. We're gonna hold a special week and I forget when it was, May, June, July. Shout out to McMaster. AK uh what's to say McLaptop is fixed, nine twelve, what is up? Yeah, I saw your computer's working again, so it's always positive. Yeah, actually, me and McMaster uh, talked it over. I was trying to seek out the months that had extra weeks. We came up with like a list of four or five, so a lot of potential for custom weeks. Hunter Call of the Wild definitely should sneak its way in. Could do another PC week. We did it last year around June, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, probably skip source games and stuff like that. ATS qualifies. I probably finally try Arma 3 and try the squad update. That's terrible from what it seems, but. Gotta try it. I wanna see how funky it is. Like, actually, in the first person perspective. <laughs> Beam and G would also qualify to bring something else in, dude. So. It's a red light. Woo! Oh god, no, it's gonna hit me. <laughs> <laughs> this is watching you come charging in after I already slowed down for the red light. I had a downshift from fucking eight high to like one. Fucking nuke your engine, bro. Probably did, but it's better than crashing. I'd rather nuke the engine than have a pile up here. So what's the uh, range of RPM that you recommend avoiding again? Still don't have a red line. I'm over 2,000. I'm usually hovering in the 2,000 to 2,500. Don't do that. The I'll engine literally can't rev design. over 2,200. The game doesn't give you a fucking red lines. <laughs> Just on this truck doesn't have a red line. It's oh, man. It does. <laughs> well, I'm so used to real cars just using the red line. You know my... Oh, God, the guy almost killed that guy, but... uh. Even in my real car, I have a tune on it so I can redline. Like, I could just max it out and destroy the engine if I wanted to because the tune removes that limiter. But like that red line's my cutoff. I go over the red line between... barely if I do. On like a car like, uh, A thousand and like 1700 if you're just trying to get going a little faster. But if you really want to wind it out, you can go up to 2000, 2100. All right, I'll keep that in mind. You're downshifting, you shouldn't downshift more than one major gear, like eight to seven, seven to six, until you're going slower, like below 45 miles an hour, you can downshift more than one gear. Roger that. And just so people know, I'm not a complete noob. I drive my car like this in real life, and my car runs amazingly. But uh, I also read the red line. Right If you don't listen to the truck at all, you just hear it fucking going. Woo! I need to figure out what's going on with this head tracker. This is really bugging like, me. Screw them. Nice on the new SSD speed, McMass. I would upgrade my Oma gaming PC at some laptop at some point, but there's just not a point getting accustomed. So set on like a 4070 with like a 4K60 capture card that does all the off lift of the stream itself. That's way better. So I want to stream. Uh, what the fuck is going on? I'm going to pull over. I'll just pull over this high road. Just sitting here in the traffic anyway. 
No worries. Yeah, I stream uh, the Xbox with the capture card. It does all the work, so my PC capture card doesn't do shit. Just chills. That's why I want to get the capture card for my custom. The 4K60 capture card, let that do all the video, like Streamlabs processing, so I can set that in the settings, so that's the you know, primary point of use. And it just captures it like an output, like an HDMI input to my from the Xbox. This way, you know, when I'm streaming, the game's running off my video graphics card, but the stream, most of the input's running off of that capture card. I've been advised in many ways on this, including my own. I still have my gaming open laptop if I want to use that for you know, stream laps, but I'm going to try the capture card route. I'll you got to offload the streaming entirely. Capture cards, don't do that. It's still doing work on the uh, main threads. I've oh, got multiple graphics cards on my PC, but I know it's not optimal. SLI is not even supported anymore. But... I'm gonna pull over here Probably for the uh, service center. Let him go. Go, go, Mustang. Motherfucker, what are you doing? The guy's straight up burning me like real life, but he slows down at the merge. I didn't see him over my I ran into somebody earlier that merged in front of me and slammed on the brakes. Next time I play TS, will be uh, my officially my own owner, so I want to load that truck up with my moving goods. <laughs> it's fine missions where you're delivering people's uh, probably get paid absolute shit. What's this random AI truck doing? At least he didn't hit us. I've had them do that before. I was like, look how many there are. What the hell's going uh, on? Why are they all pulling in here? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Dude. That's five trucks. No, that's four. One decided to go straight. There's another one. He's pulling in. <laughs> what the heck, dude? All these streams, I've never seen this before. There's another one. <laughs> I feel like I'm DJ Khaled now. You know, this is going to be at another one in a second. There is. What the hell? I'm so confused right now. There's got to be like a spawning bug or something here, dude. I'm gonna this is just the fucking ATS traffic is. Oh my god, get out of my way, bro. <laughs> fucking SUV. That's crazy. All right, the next truck I see is you, so let's see how that goes. Let me just service everything but my tires, because as you know, I downshifted way too hard, probably, so let's do myself a favor. I'll try my engine season on me halfway through the trip. I got trailer damage, so oh, of course, the side scrapes the fucking little poles. That's why you got to use your own trailer. It doesn't matter if you damage it. Another truck pulled in here, man. There's like 10 trucks in here. Adjust my sensitivity. Roger. So I was watching live, just ignore this. 
Let's see. Let's right. See, I messed with my gamma real quick. For a stream sake, it looked a little bit dark. It's like it's in getting pixelated dark, so. It's up to gamma 5%. Nothing to hide there, so. It's on the stream right now. This game has its own color correction filter, but if I was in my actual main PC gaming section, you would never see my whole screen. So. But that's where I have like all my filters from this to Warhammer. I've been modifying for every game. Some games is like perfect now, but some games need some work. This color correction filter was built probably for COD or something. I think that was the last game that didn't cooperate. So, I can probably mimic what I need to mimic if we need to, but I think it's good for right now. What's this doing? Just fucking accelerate. What is going on? Maybe next time we stop, I'll uh. I remember what the settings were for ATS and so, so I can probably update that. God, the popo's right there, man, but I'm going 70 to 70. So. I set my auto cruise control to 75. Why is this head tracking so absurdly sensitive right now? I don't get it. Probably something happened in one of the updates. If there were any. I cranked down my vertical sensitivity, but every time I move, it's like I'm headbanging. see is drunk it won't fucking hold a speed bro what happened i just slammed on the brakes so it wouldn't hit me i was gonna clear you if i where i was waiting right. <laughs> from my point of view in the mirrors look fine not where I was, but where I was going to go for it. It slowed down, so I got over earlier than I was planning to. But I was, not, I was trying to avoid uh, making it's a slam break. I'm only going 15 over. In my view, that's like the appropriate like speed over limit. Anything over that, you're probably gonna you're get still, pulled you over. You have a check engine light again. How did you did you even repair yourself, man? I did. I haven't downshifted since either. Thing got a bad can look. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Want to manufacture the reef?
I love how I have the uh, navigation in the bottom right, but then my navigation screen in the Kenwood's right behind it, so I see Guyman twice. Yeah, I have the phone on the windshield as well. I have, so I don't have to three navigation the screens. <laughs> I don't have the. I don't use the root advisor. Which is the UI. True. I'll just try and get myself used to checking the phone. Twenty one hundred swerving around because I was seeing where my RPM went maxed out five H. Way early, it turned six. When you're downshifting, you can downshift safely up to like twenty one hundred RPM because the Jakes hit harder with the higher RPMs. there at the end so definitely oh my jake song put them on there oh, always forget they're not naturally just turned on No excuse enough, yeah. There you go. strange way to handle traffic, but we'll just accept it and move on. It's like we could have just kept you straight on the road and had an intersection, but I'm just going to wrap you around this little weird curve. Because, you know, there's such high traffic flow here that we got to worry about how the merge occurred. Would be during uh, rush hour. <laughs> Even rush hour here would be quiet <laughs> we're like in the middle of nowhere closest thing is a train apparently please pull out are you serious make it let me stop fucking way in trailer station where the hell is it even at one mile I ain't going to the way station I'm making a right out of here We got fines turned off. No stop. Trying to make me miss my turn to go to a way station. I'll take the fine. But not, it's not existing in the game at least. I should have it on. And I would have drove the extra mile there. Or two back and forth combined whatever it would have made it equal to one fifty four AM in the middle of nowhere.
Kind of lose yourself a hundred grand, man. What I do, man? Just run all over the road. I'm just staying in my lane. <laughs> I just imagine someone out there <laughs> is legit thinking that's how it works. And you you'd make up like ninety percent of the uh, bonehead truckers' content. <laughs> I was just messing around. I was in my lane, man. What she talking about? Distance to look like headlights, but that was. But different tangents. Those lights to our left look like fucking headlights out there. And I couldn't see where the road was going, so. Bad car inbound. Kind of steady pass. You're in the clear right now. We got a turn coming up, be prepared. So down for safe turn. We're still going in the left lane. You pass. You got truck inbound. the town be prepared for red lights slowing down give me the warning I'm going uh, 50 make sure this time you don't have to worry about trying not to climb ah uh, those jakes doing the job down to 30 I can tell it's a red light or I can't see it alright uh, we're good Green. the hell that car does despawn alright yep Railroad, railroad, railroad. Oh, so I got a front row view to this. Pull up. Here it comes. Talking back, man. That just occurs like the video I saw in Russia where it, it goes up and it turns off, and then another train comes charging through. I've seen that. <laughs> so, yeah. Train tracks, I don't trust generally. I would just take a look. To decommission, you don't gotta worry, but I ain't taking no chances. One day that malfunctioned, which is going to happen. You don't want to be one driving across. Yeah, especially on the uh, route with a passenger line. Trains been doing like 100 miles an hour. <laughs> exactly. Random fact: I worked in positive train control, legit, way back in the day. And signals, actually. So, got the witness quite a bit for quite a few major uh, rail lines in the U.S.
got my name on a few actual drawings, schematics and stuff. But gotta keep that personal. I don't know if it's private information. It's on my resume, but my resume is not public stream info either. Definitely cool stuff. For those who don't know what positive train can the uh, positive train controls are, they uh it's where I like to detect stuff through signals, how fast you're going. And it'll like send signals to the train to slow it down if you're the turn is like a forty mile per hour turn and you're coming in high like hundred and ten because the conductor passed out and left it a full throttle and helps prevent accidents, basically it's that the whole purpose of it in a nutshell. Whether it's speed related, collision related. They're gonna tell me to pull in as I'm in the left lane three feet away. Gotta I'm be ready, man. <laughs> Gotta be ready. You're in the left lane, just pull over, pull over. We're worried about your safety of your truck, but we're gonna make you pull across highway For lane. Sure you're supposed to be in the right lane. Yeah, probably. I'm not a real trucker, so I have no idea what the actual rules are. Would I drive a real truck? Sometime, absolutely. Closest I got is a U-Haul moving truck. So I'm probably gonna rent one again. I'm gonna like purposely go rent like the biggest one, even if I don't need it. Pay like an extra five bucks anyways, just for the experience. I think it was like another like six feet compared to what we drove back in the day when I last moved. Probably drastically won't appreciate the experience, but I'll make it that, that tiny little bit harder. But not really. I dealt with rush hour traffic last time. I was moving back and forth multiple times. That, that's where the real experience comes in. You're trying to merge. People are a-holes. They don't want you to merge. They're like fighting people to get over it. times <laughs> it's like the best part of the moving is driving the truck the rest sucks yep plan to move a bunch of stuff myself anyway I ain't trying to pay movers to move every drawer and every box of clothes if you know what I mean so I'm probably gonna Go around a truck and do it myself. Figure sure just go to the furniture, rip the drawer out, just throw it in the truck. Don't even have to fucking load it, pack it, and all that crap. Ooh! Don't crash me. curve to hit his speed. <laughs> Imagine hitting that in eight. Be exhilarating to you flip over. I'd be able to do it with 100% uh, trailer truck and stability, but it's not really that fun. Yeah, true. Hundred percent stability is a no-no in my book. We're playing a sim for a sim. A little bit of leeway, I'll accept, because it is a sim. But I 
fly sim around to turn on that mode where you actually have to like prep the aircraft for flight. Because we got a pilot license in the next five years. And the cheapest, most reasonable aircraft you can get is like a 152. Probably get one for as low as like 30k. If you want like a modernized, well maintained one, you're probably looking at like 60, 70. So for an entry aircraft, yeah, it's like buying a new car. Should get yourself an Icon A5, man. One of the used know. ones. Yeah, should I use? I think uh, they're like 500k new or something. <laughs> yeah, they're ridiculous. So I looked into it because I was curious. I was like, at some point, I would like to get that license to buy a plane. What can I actually afford? And I was like, nope. <laughs> Unless I'm doing that well, it's not gonna happen. I'll take that 152 and call it it. Could always paint it, rip out the, put in some modern tech. Come on, Prius, before I rear end you. I gotta beat this guy in the right lane for the merge. Blowing gas to so the next gas station. We need to hit. Just Cause you keep speeding, man. Fucking running the truck at max RPMs. Hell yeah, man. Push it to the limit, man. Push it to the limit. Limit. Push that truck beyond all control. End up like that guy on the side of the road. You can feel that. <laughs> this guy just in a truck just over there, crap. <laughs> it was perfect timing for that. I like that UPS guy there, too. What the hell's he doing? Looks like he's parked, but it also looks like he fucking crashed. Weird angle on the driveway. That truck over there is smoking. The fuck's going on out here, man? It's like a GTA server. Farm life. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how my move's gonna be. in the open road, man, for 15 solid minutes. <laughs> this is looking out here. My move's legit across the city. It's gonna look nothing like this. It's gonna be red lights and the uh, city highway. I'm legit moving like 15 minutes away. funny part is it's three miles more from where I live now to like center city but it takes the exact same amount of time because from here I sit in the gridlock traffic like the traffic light but from there I'm just going to take that highway right from where I'm moving straight to downtown it's just like for me time is everything I'd rather drive an extra 20 miles if it takes the same amount of time I don't give a crap as in like you know for living purposes 20 minutes, I'm gonna take the shortest route if it's the same for either way. But for like a few minute difference for taking a highway versus a back road, I'll take that back road, take that extra two minutes. But I don't wanna sit in traffic for that same amount of time. That's my POV, but. Oh, whatever, I guess we're stuck in the right lane. Man, that's a lie, bro. Look at this guy. My left. So much for that. Of course, he cuts me off. We got a uh, way station up here. Why is he stopping? I slamming his fucking brakes on me. There was absolutely no reason. Yeah, hey, road rage and ATS. Yeah, it should be slamming his brakes. 
He cut me off in the first place, man. That's his fault. He initiated. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna support it. <laughs> I was just cruising the right lane behind you, and you just merges between it. Like not gently. They were perfectly in the uh in between the lines and they can't they have trouble seeing you. Thought I was, but I don't know, I'd have to refer to the stream for more knowledge on that one. To confirm. So I, I don't wanna be a judge even on my own story. Could actually see the evidence. So I call myself out when I make mistakes. Oh, there's a gas station up here. Thank you. Now you gotta be true to yourself. Dude. Service station. If I'm a noob, I'm a noob. Check why you still have a fucking service light or a check engine light. Hell yeah! It's gonna burn this. Gonna try to wait for this guy to make a right. It's a little bit nerve wracking there. Pull a little bit hot. Thought I was going to clip those protections on the sides of the uh, gas tank. So I, I changed which uh, <laughs> which one I was entering last second. But I felt it was a bigger, better approach for my truck to not have to worry about the trailer pulling through. If I went to the one on the right, it would have a worse angle and stuff. So. I think we changed it. Usually I wouldn't drive this fast if it was real life. But I have a... You know, it's, it's video games and me, just... I play like the video game. Which, yeah, I mean, I guess... I hope it makes sense. You know, have the real re repercussions of driving like that if it was reality and I'd be babying that shit nice and slow like 5 miles an hour barely in, leaving first gears pulling in there so one thing I have to say is like video games it's hard to judge speed compared to real life so it's one of my Downsides. Maybe some people have better than me, but for me, it's easy to go way too fast. It's not the same. Obviously, on that note, you can feel the car shaking, vibrating, gripping the ground. You can. I know my car's limitations. I know when to pull back on the gas. But in a game, you don't get that. So you just you go off visual cues instead of physical. Physical is a huge thing to drive in a truck I'm sure so they're like feeling how the truck's responding we'll be there someday I'm sure the video game world but we're not there yet give it another like decade we'll have like crazy simulator experiences I'm right behind you I'm uh, just checking my head tracking again no worries Finish my final bev of the night. I got some seafood leftovers too. Decided to splurge and get myself a lobster roll and some fried oysters tonight. So last night I had that mac and cheese burger. That <laughs> I was not feeling anything cheesy like pizza at all. I was like, just spend the extra money and. Get something semi-healthy compared. 
It wasn't like a butter lobster roll. It was like a, I don't know what the hell they put on it. Probably it was like the brioche. Still the chicken roll on that. I'm totaled, man. Trying to drive across the field and it, it killed me. I'm just kidding. Didn't take any damage, but I, I did try to cut across the field there. Some of these fields let you cross, some of them don't. That was one that does not, but I was I didn't take it on in a way that was ultra confrontational and so. stuff. I was making it. I was trying to turn back to go back. So that's what slipped my mind. Service station. All right, truck. Come on, bro. You're really gonna make a turn right as I'm passing off the a wrong way from the exit, the entrance. My exit. Right, I'm going back right now. I should be there in like 20 seconds. I got the gas and I completely forgot to cross the street. It's on me. Playing the mac and cheese burger. <laughs> nah, this doesn't matter. I, I did it. Oh. So apparently I did it. I was just brain farted that I did, but I, you know, he told me the engine light, so I was like, what the hell? I didn't do it, but. The engine wears three percent, but I saw the light on. Damage is zero percent. So I don't know why the hell. Just fix drive, the wire. Drive trains at twenty-one percent. It's the drive train that's doing it. What, what, just fix your shit, man. Hit repair all, and then uncheck the tires. Ninety-nine grand. Why are they? So that's what I was doing wrong. I no, was just, don't uh, do. Did you do replace? Uh, I, you said to click replace, repair all. Or you said whatever. repair all. That's the way. You did replace. I okay. got. Well, I'll accept the uh, the payment out of my pocket. With how I drive. John only pays like 137 grand for me, so you're not gonna make much money on this one now. I'm cool with that as long as it pays for that. Place. I think that's the most important. Get a fresh start. It's the wear I would have put on the engine driving the way I did uh, was not optimal anyway. Yeah, listen to that purr. It's beautiful. Got that new engine up in here. <laughs> The other ones in the dumps or somewhere. Right, I'm on my way. Colorado Road Tall. Watch this fucking mofo. Just lane switching. I got over to let you in. He just goes back and forth. I'm gonna be chilling a 7L up here. Eh, I'm gonna downshift to 8L because we're going way under the speed limit, but I'm gonna try and hold the 75. Gotta use your splits, man. I'm gonna eat low. I almost always use my splits to keep it under 1500. A split did not help. 
for the uh, upshift. I split actually. I don't, really split, I don't split for the downshifts that, that much unless I'm really trying to break it down from speed. Lepash is like a clear day and it's right. Got their sun showers. <laughs> yeah. They are true. Are legit. Know all about it. We had an accident, get over to what? Or something to go construction. I don't know what that was going on. I think it's an accident. Yep. Yeah. Bad accident. Woo! The car's like inside the back of the truck. <laughs> I feel that guy, man. Yeah, you know, one time you just gotta slam your brakes and the you know, car behind you doesn't slow down. <laughs> Must have avoided you, yeah, they just plow right into the trail. Rhyming into a truck trailer is definitely not on my top priority list while driving a car. No way, man. Just get fucking annihilated. Pretty much. <laughs> Especially in my car. Fucking lowered and shit. Just like fit under there perfectly and just get decapitated. I uh, mess around. I mess around, but there's a time and a place. It's the best way to sum it up. We gotta get off here. We made it. We made it. Hurrah. We made it. Be prepared for a stop on the off ramp. Shit's the police. Got expired tags. Very good. Red light. <laughs> We're just blocking the shell of the route. Fine. That would be for real, though. <laughs> Seen that so many times. Yeah, true. It's like that uh, fire truck we saw <laughs> the other day. It's straight up, like, making crazy maneuvers, though. So the that guy super wouldn't yeah. move. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Yeah, that guy was like straight up. That dude was straight up ATS NPC. Tell you, man, that's, that's real life. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the game AI is so bad that it's realistic. Nice. Yeah, I think last time we updated my settings for uh, not having to pull yeah. in and actually select the trailer, so it's nice. It's one of my first times. Maybe my second time, I don't know, but one of the first few times I actually have it set this way, so I don't have to actually go in the menu and do it. Which is nice. You gotta stay. If you're pulling up, I'm getting over it. I gotta wait for this boom arm to go up anyway. Just wanna make sure it don't kill you. Won't kill you, but it feels that way with the amount of money it costs. Oh, trailer! Oh, oh! No damage, but I definitely tapped it. Hold on, where is it? So I got back in there. We go to F2, I think? No, no. It's a 2 on the cat. Let's see. Which one is the overhead F3? 
Won't be the F keys, it'll be the number keys. Yeah, yeah number, that's what I meant. Initially thought it was the F keys, but then I realized. Of course, I chose the worst possible spot to do this. Let's straighten out for this. See where it goes. Get over enough. Drive forward. It wasn't the first person. If I looking in reverse view, I'll be more productive than looking at this overhead view. Fucking beautiful execution right there, right in. That's what she said. Let's get this straight <laughs> off. Hell yeah. Accidental horn hunk, but I. <laughs> so I'm winging the wheel all crazy and it's violently throwing itself backwards. I'm just letting it slide. I got like force feedback maxed out when I play games. Excellent parking job. This and, thing uh... like gets crazy. Force feedback. I don't know about your. Head back to your garage in California, grab your trailer, and then quick travel back to whatever city we're in. Roger that. Gotta go to LA. Sweet home, Los Angeles. Not where I'm trying to be. Sorry, LA. I do want to visit, so don't get me wrong. <laughs> Leave the rest out. <laughs> It's on my list someday. Someday. Then my job's next trip was New Orleans. So. Orleans. I want to go. Been on a road trip there for years, but it's like a 20 some hour road trip. I'm planning a road trip in the next two years, but it's Nashville. Usually do it within a week with talking like all these seven nights at a hotel. Not going to like. It's on the road. I'm talking like legit hotels in the cities and stuff. Between and there. With plenty of time to actually sightsee and everything. So. Let's see. Is the purple my garage? Purple. I don't know where the fuck I'm at. I'm at the kind of where dealer in LA or something. Is there a fast travel to my garage? Yeah, but... <laughs> press G and it'll bring up the garage menu. Thank you. Yeah, I just traveled to LA, I didn't travel the garage, it's on me. 65 bucks to move there, so. Might have saved a little bit, but probably not much. I was confused, I was like, why the hell am I over here? But... That's why I was asking about the purple icon. <laughs> so hold on, this doesn't look right. Let's see. That trailer, drop deck. Use it, please. Attached. Uh, where are you at? Uh. Denver. Does everyone want me to travel though? That's... Yeah, that's where the job is. Just want to make sure before I put it through. I 
I don't know if it's true, but it says six likes on YouTube. If that's true, it's crazy. Appreciate it. All the likes of, uh... That's... Can't be right. The fresh and now is three. I don't know what the hell YouTube's doing. But either way, I appreciate it. WTF, YouTube. Four now. Well, what the hell's it doing? Whatever. Either way, it's appreciated. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. We noticed that before that like the front end and the back end will show different numbers. It's kind of annoying. So botting is harder. I guess I don't blame him. What the hell does it say I got 1400 miles? You might have a GPS option set. I'll just follow you and it'll hopefully reset once I end. You can go on your map and uh, just set clear navigation. Right, hold on, let me stop. Set nav. There we go. Drive. Got a convertible just showing top down in the rain. In there. Yeah, if I remember as a convertible. Remember having to pull over on the side of the road and just start raining out of nowhere. It's the best. <laughs> Gotta pull over and throw it up. Uh -huh. Oh, the uh, limit is for. So I know certain cars can like go up and down at like 35 or so. Yeah. So what would happen yeah, if I, I do it at like 60? <laughs> it just won't let you do it. Like, I wonder what like the actual physical effect would be though. Oh, it would get ripped off. I've seen uh, <laughs> I've seen convertible roofs come loose at speed and they just get fucking ripped. <laughs> this is like you're in your Carrera, putting the roof up, like 60 and just fucking flops up. Now on the highway behind you. Okay. One reason I'd never take a soft top to the track. Yeah, true. Even ignoring the rollover. Mm -hmm. Job expire? I don't. Man. Expired on it? It was a similarly priced job. But where we're going anyway. I hope I went the right way in the first place. So you're going right down 70. Legit though, I probably went too far, you probably turned, but I didn't see where you were at, so I was too far zoomed in on the map, I just kind of figured you were down 70. Should I be there shortly? Alright, why the hell's my LB not working? Use LB for shifting in the range 1 through 4 through 5 plus. There was not cooperating with the reason. Head clutch fully down. I was clicking it, just wasn't responding. Don't break on me, wheel. Don't break. It'd be wild if yours broke before mine. I wouldn't be surprised because the newer meeting is probably like less reliable. <laughs> mm 
how it goes, man. The newer it is, I feel like the less reliable it is. The only thing I had to fix with this wheel was the encoder ring being plastic and cracking because the crew has such violent force feedback. Even when you turned it down, <laughs> driving cross country just annihilated the encoder ring. <laughs> I super glued it once to fix it, and that worked for like 20 hours, but then the game broke it again. So I ordered the brass replacement, installed that, and it's been perfect ever since. There you go. I mean, that would definitely do the trick. A lot more sturdy. Not like I'm gonna play the crew ever again. Eh. I did the crew one or two, but I was just like, nope, the motor fest. But yeah, a second thought. I used to be all about playing every game of every you know, series that I participated in. So I would have played the crew, I would have played this, that, but I've uh, changed over the years, especially the last few years. I get uh, Solar Crown test drive. Yeah, that I'm interested in. I really hope to add a casino again. I just hope the driving is superior to TDU2 and the map design oh, yeah, is yeah, not as wonky. Sure. That's the top priority, but I just remember the casino was such a huge part of that if you had access to it. Because, like, the money yeah. that you got from it. I don't really care about the money that much. So nice. I want it's so just, many it's tournaments. It's easy to get, like, any car you wanted anyway. I remember doing, grinding like one race that was very simple and you'd make a lot of money. Yeah, I probably just went off the casino instead of Googling that. <laughs> this guy's gonna make a left here. Maybe not. Unless he was just stopping for the hell of it. Trying to kick my trailer off again. Select your job. You take the same job. Job equipment, own truck and trailer. There we go. The time I was reading it, it's a rushing through. <laughs> I can catch the trailer and stuff and not get penalized for it. Hell yeah. Like, my trailer is ultra damaged. tire wear go all the way down so it starts swinging out in the rain and shit this trailer is my okay I see not for trailer I mean which spot I got my own trailer Not the angle I wanted. The trailer is lined. Do I gotta have the truck line, not just the trailer? You can just have the trailer in the box. Basically, do, but. Let me see. Think, Brian, think. You'd be further back. There you go. Straighten out. That's what I was trying to do. And rushing myself to get in here. There we go. I was trying to rush into the spot, so I was just kind of winging it. 
Okay, there we go. Thought I clicked it already, but it registered. Watching a cutscene for the airport. I don't see any cutscene. There's a spot you pull into for it. Alright, cancel this. So you pulling out. That's what she said. I'm on the way. Stream, we're an hour and 20 live. About an hour to go. If we cut at 1.30. Max preferred cutoff is 2, but 1.30 is the preferred. Especially because I'm doing moving stuff tomorrow. Not fully, but. Moving stuff around, carrying some boxes, all the good stuff. And yeah, you gotta get prepped. And pretty much. Nowhere near ready. Less scared of the packing as I am the uh, getting the house ready and getting the companies lined up and whoever needs to go in and all that crap. For us to deal with the uh, previous owner's neglect, their crawl spaces, and I'll get into doing stuff like ripping out appliances that are at their like, lifetime, which is like a handful of them. Gotta rip out all the floors, paint the whole damn place, send a bunch of different people. Plumber to HVAC, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be like a circus, but eventually it'll be done. And it'll be worth the uh, the adventure. Alright, Tesla, you know you can go past me and get in your lane. Alright? How do I flip them off the window? Your lane. Yeah, I know, but there's nothing I can do. <laughs> I was getting over it. Otherwise, I'm blocking both lanes, but I was trying to only block one. With a Jeep guy, I just didn't understand it past me. I mean, the Subaru guy got something coming. Blaying opening the path. Just sits there. I guess he was turning. He just, I didn't see his blink around. I, I forgive him. Colorado? Yeah. Was that the Denver Wyoming. Airport? Yep. Been there multiple times. I think it looks like a bunch of TPs or something. Like the design of the actual airport. Unless they change it. It's been a long time since I've been to Colorado, but been there a handful or so time through the years. I sure want to go back. Place called motor on the wild Colorado. Exactly, man. Why don't you go on those Rockies? When I was doing analysis of cities that I consider moving to, I looked at Denver. I don't think down the downtown and surrounding area are what I'm looking for. It's like the Rockies are right there. You could live like outside the city but still be within like, you know, an hour or less of the city but be on the edge of the Rockies. Yeah. It's just like hell yeah. But those homes are like a million dollars. So 
That's sad. Plus, I have and to I'll swap all the way out there. Fort Collins. And the people that live here. Really? Some extended family that live in Colorado. Last time I seen them was like a decade plus ago out there. Sixty up here. I'm trying to go sixty. Knight's granny is shifting that double clutch and like he should. And I float the gears. I don't need the double clutch. Slow down for the 75. I use your speedo or uh, cruise control, man. Nope. That's another thing I'm looking forward to once I get my new man cave. Is I gotta get a better setup for reaching my computer from the game. So with this setup, I have my wheel in front of me, and on my right, out of reach, I have my computer. So I'd like extend my arm and lean to click a key. That's There's uh, right. apps you can get with like a button box on your iPad. Interfaces with the game. Unless you've also got an iPad that can borrow, so it could be an option. It was my iPad, but long ago I gifted it there when, it, when I needed any money. Had a combo with a gift, so it was only fitting. I can buy a pass, what about you? Yeah, I got my pass. Roger. Like iPads only used when we're like traveling on planes. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just routes. I'm just gonna go around these guys in the grass. I'm on your right lane, though. Burn. You took the left, I took the right around that. It's a box truck. I'm gonna rear end him. <laughs> it doesn't get back in the left lane, or in the right lane. Can you pit maneuver in this game? Or... Yeah. <laughs> I do that in certain games sometimes, and people piss me off. <sighs> that desync, dude. You're like cruising smoothly getting over and it's fine. Then the desync makes you go back like five feet and she's like, oof. Don't do that desync. So that 10 foot gap becomes five. It's sketchy at that point. You have plenty of space now since I didn't slow down. When you're first merging, it looked like it was an extremely you know, smooth merge. So I didn't bother taking off my foot off the gas. Game was like, nope. Yeah, decent can be brutal. At least not like I see. Fucking bus. Got a hell of loose before you start playing. Or you just desync down the entire road. Look at this tanker in the right lane doing like 40 miles an hour. Oh, 
I have pulling for the way station. Alright. I'll let you get over if you're happy. Mustang, get out of my fucking way. Yeah, the shoulder it. So anyway. Oh, never mind. Mustang was stopped at the highway. <laughs> Fifty-four miles ago. Which in this game means like thirty miles. We're near Casper, Wyoming, man. Is that Casper right there? Might be. Been the Jackson Hole, but there been the Casper. Jackson Hole is nothing like an actual major city; it's a small town. Cool thing they have like a uh, arch with like antlers to like park. <laughs> a lot of those boom towns are that were boom towns in the 19th century are not really anything major now. If I ever get back out there, I'll I'm all about visiting the major city. But I'll definitely hit the smaller one up. Well, if I make it all the way to Wyoming, yeah, might as well see what I need to see. Whether it's by plane or car. I'm not flying five hours just to, to Yellowstone Elite. Took three days. Going for like a week. I don't know what the main airport in Wyoming would be. I wonder if it would be Jacksonville. It's just like a tourist zone. It's probably a few, but... I have no idea last time when I went to Wyoming where I was. Maybe drivable, drivable to Jackson Hole and Yellowstone, but we stayed in like a rental house. Some like probably HOA house community. <laughs> it's like a private road with a bunch of houses off a resort. Probably why they were renting it out. But there was just like that, the stores in the resort area, the little town, whatever the hell it was. It was just farmland with cows. That was legit all there was there. Well, I got to see some meese and bison. I see a lot of the bison in Yellowstone now, but I never saw a moose. Saw some bear scat. Didn't see any bears. Here well, it was when. I think it was for like a hiking trip or something. Went camping out of Wyoming. We left like early some day or like ultra early and it was like probably like six AM or something. Saw a ton of game. 
And we are in the middle of nowhere, so. And I'm sure the quieter times of day when the road's quieter, the animals are more likely to pop up. Well, the bison don't care, man. They'll just walk right past your right, car and make her <laughs> Like a boost or something. Probably more sensitive to it. Could be wrong, but that's a guess. Emperor Wyoming, Hunter Call the Wild Crit. Yeah. Need that garage freezer before I do something like that. Something I actually want at some point. So you're gonna need it if you wanna go on a hunting trip. Tanker in the left lane. I'm downshifted. That's all you need, man. Eight low is good for like 60 miles an hour. I downshifted a 7L, I mean 7 high and 6 high, but I went to 8 up. I was just the short delay of one street, but you see, I was testing the uh, RPMs for the downshifts to see where they end up. One of them was gonna you know, try to scrum engine, so I immediately clutched and put it back. I was trying to see, you know, how much RPM jumps. Trying to get a feel for this since there's no red line. It's like four to five hundred RPM between uh, splits, which includes going from like low to high between major gears. Gonna get back in each high. We hit the exit, probably like 10 miles. I don't see the drop off point on the phone. Should hit up two a couple times so you get rid of that left mirror. There we go, got it. Sweet home, Wyoming. <laughs> There's not much going on out here. Well, that's the beauty of the mountain states. If I had the funds, I get a mountain house. I don't want to be somewhere like this. The whole point of getting a mountain house is to be away from civilization. I mean, I guess I take that back. Some people in the Del Mar. There's plenty of mountain areas that are well built. If I want to spend that kind of money, I want to go out to the Rockies or north of Montana somewhere. Just gotta get yourself a plot of land and an RV, man. I don't know about an RV. You got a plot of land, RV like buy a few Home Depot pre-built. Get one of those old Sears kit houses. <laughs> Rags on it up here. I sell those all over nowadays, like it's pre built. They're historic home. now. Alright, come on, random AI. Drive your car. I know they do have homes like you can buy from like Amazon or like Home Depot and stuff. Buy like multiple and like combine them. Yeah.
Ready to go to Dream Burger, man. This. Oh yeah, bro. Pretty sure Check last time I was in Wyoming, I had some game burger. So I remember exactly what it meat it was. Nowadays, I'd be all about it. I like I get that burgers. boost tartar. Last time we made homemade bison burgers, they're a little bit gamey, but I think that was just because the brand is stuff. I've had it before, but it wasn't like that. So I had a lot of game in my day, all different kinds of variants. But yeah, went to Rome. Oh, this what the hell are these people doing? I'm gonna start going, but you really? <laughs> are you gonna go too, buddy? No, you're not gonna go. Shut in your face. Uh, I made it. There's some tires we need for snow run. Yeah. There is a, uh, like a articulated cat kind of thing. It's not a caterpillar, but it is a cargo you can haul. Build yourself a uh, Western Star 49X that looks like the uh, 47. Get yourself a snow runner load out. Done a couple hauls like that. That was my drop off. Okay, I got a 90 degree drop off. I'm gonna wait till you do your thing. I'm gonna back up and then uh, give you space, you know. We're in a non collision zone. So do what you gotta do. You might go in the same spot as me. Of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I wish they would fix that. I know that the clone job is pretty basic, but it doesn't have to be that basic. Check the other jobs when I get out of here. I don't like what this company has to offer. It says 13 hours for the in-game time trip. I don't know what that's going to translate to. I was cut off within a half hour to an hour. All right. I'll probably tap like a gutter and just get some violent sound. I mean, you can just, uh, if you really feel like it, you can just call it quits the game. When you turn the game off, the uh, jobs don't progress. There we go, delivered. Oh, what's your vote? I grabbed it. Okay. It's having to be a place where I have a garage. 
High value cargo, fragile, just in time, or fuel economy. Um, or the last hazardous. I'm... Yeah, grab the last hazardous. Done. Doesn't say you have the job yet. Yeah, we gotta go pick it up. Back on the menu. Probably take like a one to two minute break max once we're at the play. Grab myself. Let's make sure we and may throw something in the micro real fast. The gate closed on me, of course. Come charge around the corner to find that. I hear the popo. What's going on over here? We're in a stop sign. Rotten to the pickup point. It's that Viva Wyoming. F your light. I'm on Casper Wyoming. A ghost here, too. Hey, man. <laughs> Friendly ghost town. Eh. I think I could get away living in a town like that. Just because I'm so used to big city life. I don't mind visiting small towns for vacation, but living there, I don't know. What the fuck? The job really expired? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm a dumbass. Why did I click external contracts? Man. Happened to the best of us. I just pull in the driveway right now. I got it. You can clone it. Alright, let me stop. All right, I'm stopped. Flip the menu. It's just a sin still here. You can take the same job. Truck and trailer. 795 miles. We're going from Wyoming all the way. Look like almost to Washington. Yeah, Cardellan is uh, pretty up there. Oh, time to haul some ass. Chew some bubble gum. So we're all out of gum. What the fuck? Come on, truck. Stalling out and low. <laughs> trying to ride over these uh, rails. I just got here. I think my pickup's at the same spot as you. So, from what you're doing. Cut left hard here on the trailers.
in the right spot. We got a different angle. Nope. Thought so, but I couldn't see the angle I was on. Now that we can, the overhead cam is a lot easier. Straighten up just because. Too close to those cargo containers for comfort. Alright, loading cargo. Probably now would be a terrific time for a quick one minute break or if you need something, yep. Bali, Shua, you whatever. I'm gonna just park next to you real quick. Be like a minute or two. Try and be quick. BRB.
Hello. Hello. I am the back. Sorry for anyone who might have just tuned in with JFK for a moment there. Just for taking a quick break for our probably final journey of the night. Especially at 795 miles, but whenever you're ready. So start because my uh, dog ready to eat my food. <laughs> Put on the table next to me. I make sure you let him get my stuff, man. Can't let him chomp it. He's waiting though. He's like, I'm gonna eat it for you. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Just killed somebody. RP. Scrum. I pulled out, but that came in hot. It's a 20 mile per hour zone. <laughs> that guy was charging, man. He had enough time to slow down and stop. No way he would have been able to respond to that. Is that one intersection when we were doing that logging run where the AI just ran out in front of me and yeah. I just rammed the shit out of him? Realistically, you would have seen that truck pulling out at 20 miles per hour. Yeah, uh, maybe they're just suicidal and they want the insurance payout. That could be true. Nice rainy night here. Are we going to Wy Idaho or Washington? Idaho. I wasn't sure. It's up in the Panhandle. Yeah, so I ride the border. Oh, good night worked out for me, though. I was muted again, uh, man. I was eating a quick snack. So I was ready to dive on a daughter from the falls. Finished out my fried oyster. It has like a tartar with it. I'm just gonna burn this light. Okay. Oh shit, no I'm not. Oh god, oh god. It's <laughs> all that, back here. That guy just ran the shit out of you. Dude. I'm passing on your right. Cause I, I was coming to the hot. So we're gonna pay a chance. Pass any closer than that. So this rainstorm, the second we leave.
trying to make sure I mute when I'm chomping on food. Sorry for my mic picked it up. Got like a chicken salad and some fries. Gotta like safely chomp on them. It's easy to crash and die while you're looking at a plate of food trying to drive down the road. Just de kind of just getting on, getting the worst of shoulder because he was just like cruising, then just randomly jump back a few feet. I hate the buses, they're the worst. Aside from the tanker trucks, the box trucks, they're all so obnoxiously slow. It's true. that turn. I took it ultra wide. I don't care how I look. I'm going to use like that shoulder to make sure I don't flip. Like, what's the rule if you're like in the passing lane and it's a passing lane but you pass? But then as you're passing, it turns into a double yellow. Are you supposed to just stop and get back over it? You... And you're supposed to be cognizant and aware that your passing lane is ending. Yeah, true. This game is a little bit different than real life, so I just kind of go for it. What the hell is this guy? I don't know. We just smoked the guy that was making a right turn in the in the uh, parking lot there. Smaller fudger drivers, man. I don't appreciate their terrible driving. I eat my fries, cruising on the road, swerving violently. Like I'm drunk, but it's not because I'm drunk. Because I'm just drunk at driving, man. It's just as bad. Yeah. Watch that. Watch that turn. Watch that turn. Watch that turn, dude. Holy shit. Watch that turn. Uh, <laughs> I know how fast to go. Ooh. You're the one that's fucking hauling ass. So you're eating your fries up. like a <laughs> bonehead <laughs> trucker. This turns are Oh god. Do you see the do you see the speed limit on the yellow sign, man? <laughs> really? That's what you get. The visible wall. Going way too fast for those curves, man. Man. It was come on, ATS, like that's really an invisible wall. <laughs> really got to be one right there. I mean, you know what? I don't think that was an invisible wall. Just, just so much that your bumper hit the uh, the ground there. Nothing you can really do about that besides oh, yeah, not driving into stuff. a ditch that's ridiculously deep. It's also true, but it's sure I feel like an invisible wall. Now, when your bumper catches on stuff, it, it acts the same way. That's why I, I don't drive the 57X with the bull bar. Catches on random shit for no reason. Just stops you dead. Or the 5700, rather. So I'm gonna go service, do repair on that replace off, except the tires. Don't touch your trailer. Uh, I did it. Come on the truck. For a second there, I wasn't sure because I just clicked repair all, but they're separate, thankfully. 
So yeah. One at the top will do both truck and trailer. It didn't do it for me. I don't know. Are sure, the trailer's still there. Yeah. I am on the way back over. I don't know how many miles you got. 691. 7, 8, fucking 4. I'll pull over at the uh, scenic. Just so I can see where you're at. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck it put me. Oh, you're back in Riverton. You're going the wrong way. Turn around. Tell me this way. Turn around. I will. Let's pass it on the shoulder and then. Barely tapped this truck, so he stopped. No damage taken, but. He just seemed to appreciate it. And now it's on the 730. There we go. Now I just got a whole ass. And make it over there. miles per hour get me there someday first and then we can stop in Bozeman. Alright. So they make sure. So I have no idea where I just passed her. No, this is an awesome road. So it's not a bad thing that I uh, crash. Look at this, awesome. Tunnel right through the rock. The hell man, this is the road I wanted to take all along. I'm glad I crashed it, this is what I'm getting. F the money. We, we, this is the way we were going anyway. Alright. Uh, <laughs> exactly what I want to drive through. How's it going up here? That guy might need help. You, gonna pull over. He's got his flashers on. Think we should go back, man. Scrum. Enjoy your own life, sliced life, boy. Thermalopolis welcomes you. Is that really the name of the town? 
Thermopolis. Quite the name. At least I got a Dream Burger, so I got that going for them. I got a uh, pizza, whatever the hell that's that fake pizza hut. This is the way I'm interpreting it. It's like fake Burger Kings and fake pizza hut. <laughs> but non fake hiccups. You heard that. I think that guy, he tapped it, but he didn't do anything. That's his fault. If you hit the back of my trailer after an entire truck and trailer pass you, you just deserve to hit it. I know it's an AI, so it's not the most intelligent thing, being an ATS. Yeah, what well, was coming? Had enough warning that a truck was passing illegally through the red. <laughs> well, I dropped the six H. I was showing six H and wait for it. Can we go six L? There we go. Gas are a little bit higher than I would like. Okay, close to twenty five hundred there. There we go. Twenty one hundred. Where you at, man? Coming up on your six. these things. <laughs> Best for me again. Yeah. Approximately 1 30 in the morning. Probably be done around 2. This is my max preferred cutoff. So. Like I said, we could pull over somewhere and just stop now. I'm, the, I'm not worried. The job will be good. I have flexibility tomorrow on the time I gotta go where I'm going. It wasn't worth till like twelve thirty or one even. It's the mention time, so it gives me a little bit of fluff. Plus, I was late all day because I was late yesterday. So I've been on time for a week. I gave up on that yesterday and today. It's an hour on a Friday night late carries over into Saturday just naturally. Oh God. Starting to drive like me, man. <laughs> I don't know how to do it though, man. I've done, I've done it plenty of well, plenty of time. There's been those moments. But it happens is the best of us. But you also got like way more hours on this than I do. I used to do the, the uh, multiplayer mod where there was no AI traffic, but it was just all players and all the roads are basically entirely empty, except for a few select roads that were very popular. So you just be hammered down the entire time. I got very good at being able to predict the trucks. That sounds awesome. That's what I always imagined when I played this game, what it would be like the online. It sucks that it's a mod and not just a normal I mean, it's, uh, it's a mod that you can pretty easily download, but you gotta make an account for it, so anything. And if you do stupid stuff, the mods will harm a van you. What stupid stuff mean, though? Like, crashing the people or something? Passing people, racing. Like, you gotta be really smart about what you're doing, because people will report you with recordings. Extremely petty players and extremely power-tripping mods and admins. Eh. I can imagine myself being like the only truck in one way, the highway, and someone get reported because I'm going 90 to 75. 
probably wouldn't happen, but as you're mentioning that, someone out there probably try to report me. <laughs> but this guy was holding ass. So yeah, man. You act like truckers never went over the speed limit. Right. Yo, oh, what the hell? That truck just came into my lane. It's probably right in the line. They mean to interrupt you, but he lives straight like across the entire line. <laughs> the hell, man. Yeah, I saw that. Dude was really out there. Eh, I don't know what the hell he was doing. You gotta stop the car. The Mustang decided to stop and cross the light. <laughs> it's like real life, but it's complete right away to go. Just hesitates, too busy texting or something. How town is this anyway? Not a mean way, just like don't know where the hell Yeah. I gotta merge, you can pass. So let's grind this journey out. Just ditching it, we got it. I just want to get that money because I started in the 400k range. My goal is 500k, but I stupidly spent that like 90k on fixing my truck by accident. Just, I didn't realize it was repair and replace, I thought it was just repair. But as we determined, I have a knack for speed running through the menus trying to save time. Learn my lesson. Between that trailer and the uh, replacing instead of repairing. I got the message loud and clear. I was gonna have to replace stuff at some point some day. It wasn't meant to be today, but I don't I've never replaced uh, since they introduced the uh, wear mechanic, I have not replaced anything on any of my trucks. I just hit repair. Well, with how I downshift it was gonna happen. <laughs> I'm working on it though now that I know where the red line was supposedly be. I've been a lot smarter about it. And I have not gotten the engine light breath. All those streams I had the engine light. <laughs> You're like, let me let me downshift three gears to slow down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Any gas? Is there a station here? Or nearby me? He'll be alright. Killed that cop back there. Cause he tapped my trailer and like Passing spun sideways. Well, Bozeman will be the next town after Laurel. Sweet home Laurel. Just keep it under 1500, you'll be able to save gas. Just make sure you use those splits, man. I'm at 8H, just showing out like 1300. When she told me to keep it under 1500, I just shifted up. You're about 70. Florida. Laurel discovered.
that turned me. Saw that. Yeah. Put that on TikTok. I'm just pro man. <laughs> Dude, I look at this truck. 416k likes later. I'm the number one trucker in the USA, and don't y'all forget it. Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, watch out this truck charging, dude. I see him. Ooh. He got over, but I was ready to murder me. Man, yeah, speed limit's 80, let's go. Well, 70 for truck. Okay, 80 it is. We're late trucks. We're supposed to be there 12 hours. Do you hear my jakes or not? Nah, no, you're too far back. I'm right next to you. My truck is very loud. I have the windows down. I'm sure I have my shit. I mean, I don't hear your jakes if your cab was like right next to me. That's why I was. I was like legit almost lined up with you. That's why I. I'm on your left, so don't murder me here. I want to make sure to reiterate that. Just in case. So I pulled up next to you, and then I jaked it. So I was curious if you would hear it. I got my radio on, and my jakes were going as you were passing. Okay. Reasonable. Slow down up here just in case you come charging. Turns a little bit sharp. It's not too bad actually. Hitting at 90 and hanging in there. We got a sharp return coming up though. Be prepared for that one. I'm gonna do a lane change to convenience the turn. Uh, Popo has to pull in front of me. F you, dude. F you, Popo. Gonna run out of gas. Keep speeding, man. Higher RPMs, the more fuel bearing. Uh, you be doing 75 and still making good time. I'm dropping my RPM. Fuck is a gas station at? It's in Bozeman. True, we gotta make it all the way to Bozeman. That's why I was saying slow down. Isn't there a rock and roll song? Slow down. What are you doing, pup? Sitting here on my chair in the wheel, and you're just like going underneath my legs. I know you can't have my food. Just not the optimal place for your head. <laughs> Dogs have no sense of uh, personal space. You learn that quick. <laughs> They're like, oh, you're three inches away. Let me violently thrash my head because I'm excited. All right, thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Montana. We're in Montana. Woo! That's where my future uh, mountain house will be. We're 
we're nowhere near the mountains, though. Oh, actually, there we're going to see him in the background. We're in the city, so. A small city compared to us by multiple degrees. They got snake night, I mean, there you go. No set. Figure Montana could have some good quality steak. I'm getting off at the segment. Give us your exit, man. Yeah. I saw it. Just keep an eye for that gas station. Getting off right now. Is that your force feedback that I hear? Probably. What the hell kind of gas station is it? It's that small ass gas station. Alright, let's see how much money I spend on gas. The best part of truck. I only got a hundred and some gallons in here right now. Whew. I mean, I've run out such that I had to literally coast into the gas stations. I've done that before. 290 gallons at $1,100. Yeehaw! Smacked a couple of road signs, so I'm going to grab this. Gonna burn all this. The fuck, man. No use. They I <laughs> and me trying to <laughs> pull out of there without a head tracker. I really need a head tracker. I guess something I can. How's it plug into your computer? Like USB? USB, yeah. I don't have any USB open, so I guess it would be not up. <laughs> when I play ATS, every single socket on my computer is just filled. That's what she said, but either way. Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> Religion, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight connections on my laptop right now to do the stream. Once I have the main PC, it won't be as much of a, an issue, obviously. As I've mentioned before, I probably would just buy it right now, but it'd be stupid. Figure waiting to see. House gets priority over a computer, but it's on my top non-house related purchases list. Not really willing to wait another year to get it. But wait another month or two and then see. So I'm basing my whole next man cave off the fact that I'll have one. To be stupid as F to uh, get the man cave built and then not have the computer that was supposed to be in there in the first one. Gotta get a spreadsheet going of all the parts I want anyway. So I can do the numbers and the math. I don't think there's any PC sales going on anytime soon though. Maybe the spring sale, I don't know. I usually go to like Newegg and stuff for my parts. At least a decade ago. Decade and a half ago, whatever the hell it was. I swear I used some company called like Tiger Direct once. Yeah, that's not as good. I 
don't know if they're still around. That was like my first custom build. Then my second, I used New Egg. Both of those were back in like the mid 2000s during our Counter Strike days. Closer to like Source Era. I think I built them like two or three years apart because the one I, I'm pretty sure I got left over because I lived in a really old house. And it was just. I don't know if I had it on a power strip. Pretty sure a thunderstorm probably effed the motherboard or something. Like a surge. It was never the same. I was living in the woods back then. That was probably the most wooded house I ever lived in. So. We're killing a Furby in your yard. RIP that Furby. <laughs> it screamed at us while I was going down. <laughs> <laughs> Had a video of that. Uh, probably lost in the nether at this point, though. So I found some of my older PC. Well, I didn't find them. I had them. And I booted them up to check them before you know, destroying slash wiping them. I couldn't find anything. I tried, though. Make sure to check all those hard drives before they got the hammer. Gotta pull them for the way station. Pretty sure I shot a Furby with a paintball gun. Junky ballistics. Fuck this guy. Dude. Oh my god, dude. I'm cruising, he cuts me off, and then he stops. I mean, you're speeding. That's his fault. You're 2 and 15 over. He wasn't self aware. Well, oh, Shaggy, I mean, I guess yeah, he wouldn't know be. how to deal with speeding <laughs> when players are speeding. It's a real person, dude. Yeah. <laughs> gotta Slow be cognizant down. when they enter the highway, man. They always hit the brakes when they fucking hit some kind of speed transition. Doesn't matter if it's an increase or a decrease, they always hit the brakes. We did that. Nah. I'm in the speed thing, but I, I stopped for it just so you're aware. I haven't got the uh, moving way station over. Yeah. I figured it in my brain yet when I try to do it. Last time I tried to do it, it just never popped up when I was trying the whole time. You gotta let the RPMs drop low enough when you're in two. Oh, That's what I, I usually do is just let the jakes hit. I rev it out. Turn to say five miles ago. Yep. Yeah. What the f are you doing? Fucking AI, man. Just dead stops on the highway to switch lanes. I tell you, this game just like a simulator of real life. <laughs> like. I see comments on the uh, the truck sim subreddit from people who are who play this game and are also real truckers, and they're like, "Yeah, man." That's oddly realistic. Like, I see people do that kind of shit in real life, and I'm just like, why, dude? Don't, like, merge, like, right in front of the truck, no space at all. Yep. Like, after playing games like this, I'm just like, come on. I always try to never do that on purpose. Sure, I'll pass them in the left lane. Right, for the hog in the left lane, I will take the right, because I'm not trying to be held back by a truck that should be in the left lane, which does happen once the blue movement. Make sure to give adequate notice. Hug the line. Well, she get all that force from the truck from the... the yeah, the air. Yeah. yeah it throws you about. <laughs> mm. 
I'm laying off the gas to let you catch up. Why is my game lagging like that? I don't know why my frames dropped to 40, but whatever. That was that's what that's you're on the edge of the influence bubble of another player. It'll do that. Yeah, all right, uh, pulling over in the right lane. More reason I want this custom. That's nah, just the way the game is. Yeah, so it helped. Though. Actually, upgrade it and give it a more modern uh, graphics API. So right now, I'm like dropped like 28 FPS. 35. Yeah, when we were in Laurel earlier, I looked at my uh, my monitoring. My CPU was hitting like 70 degrees. Normally it sits around 60. Yeah, our computer's pretty warm. It's pretty a fried egg. Well, my, my, my CPU no longer is uh, water-cooled, so... Under heavy load, I see it hit the 70-degree mark pretty frequently. But this game usually just sits around 60. Did you, like, replace it with a fan? Yeah, I got a big-ass heat sink with a fan. Uh, the heatsink is enormous because I wanted to keep my overclock. Uh, what was it hitting with water cooling? Uh, uh, the, the highest I ever saw it hit under water cooling was like 68, 69. And, uh, and that was after different. multiple hours. Like that was like an eight hour session of Star Citizen. I'm always so tempted to go water cool. I'm never doing it again. As soon as the pump dies, you're done. You can't run the computer anymore. It takes a while, though. It's not like it happens in, like, a year. Uh, you can get unlucky, though. Yeah, with a big-ass big heat you know, cooler, you still have passive cooling. You know, you can't you can't fail with all that surface area. It's also quieter than my water pump ever was. Now, oh, the dive deep into figuring it out. Excuse me, y'all. But it is almost two in the morning. And yeah, we still got 160 miles. Yeah, I'll fly by the... I was finishing it. Usually I gotta be out the door by like 11.30, but... Time frame tomorrow, I think I'm good leaving at 12 to 12.30. Plus the natural on the weekend, I just don't sleep eight hours anyways. My body's like, oh, you slept five and a half hours, good morning. So thank you. <laughs> So close yet so far at the same time. 120 miles in this game. Just shouldn't take long at all. It's only like two minutes ago that it was 160, so. Yeah, exactly. Oh god, dude. You good? Nope. I was following you and did the same thing you did. But it didn't go off. <laughs> I tapped the brakes a couple times. I didn't see those brake taps, so... <laughs> I had the jakes on. I need a, uh... I need a tow man. Get your, uh... What's it called? 
Like Snow Runner, just flip me back over, please. I wish they were actually viable. That caught me off guard so bad because I saw you getting close to the guardrail, or whatever happened, and I just like I tried to react as I didn't see you tapping the brakes. Long story short, you get dead. I got an epic clip. I'll say that. Am I in the repair? Okay. Fuck it. Just repair all, but not on the trailer. Fuck the trailer. How much does this job pay? Uh, 178 grand for me. Okay, well, I'll still be well ahead tonight. Well, I've lost some money. I've... <laughs> Especially because I just, that was just, that was the ugly one of the night. The other one was a baby flip compared to that. I like full on, like, had a violent crash. That was the shit you see on the news. How many miles are you? 90. I gained like 60 miles. I'm in Missoula. That was crazy though. Fuck the lamb burner. That was just a factor. Like, yes, I was hauling ass, but I completely misread how your truck was taking that turn. I completely. Gotta get good, man. Mine, it looked like you were gonna, you're hitting the guardrail, or you're about to. That's when I panicked. And I went flying over the guardrail. <laughs> Some hauling ass trying to get the last. 90 miles in, but end up gaining 60 because I flip. I tend to, it tends to happen when I like to admit where like we're in that final stretch, but once we're against the clock, I start really pushing the trend. What not to do in American trucks? Drive like TGS man. Don't go 95. I'll we'll have, uh, <laughs> we'll have to play the mods so you can get a feel for really hammer, hammering the trucks on these roads with no traffic. Let's drive like it's Forza Motorsport. Does it keep all my stats and stuff and like save it all too, or is it just separate? Yeah. One of the one of the things that's uh, fun to do is because the um, the game time for the game world in the tr in the uh, mod is so far ahead of the vanilla client. If you hire an AI driver and give them a truck, by the time it loads you into the uh, the multiplayer mod, you'll have earned like a couple million dollars because it, it shoots forward in time and the driver completes like a thousand jobs. Good enough. Don't worry, I almost made the same mistake on them. Pretty sure, same turn. My tire was getting slippery and I'm pretty sure that is a huge contributor <laughs> to what just happened. Because my trailer is also fine. slipping as well and I'm not used to that. I find the slip is a little more helpful than just having full grip. Oh, it's definitely helpful, but I've been gripping all night. Now that I'm finally sliding. Well, it's raining, so... Yeah, probably a contributor to what happened. I'm not stopping for the way station. Okay. Burn it. The rain is when you really slide. I, I really never experienced it on uh, dry tarmac. Which is kind of frustrating. Yeah, I can see that. You're definitely gonna have skid, especially on a heavy ass truck. Yeah, these things are like, uh, they have F1 tires or something, <laughs> even when they're very worn. It's the opposite of Forza. You play Forza and you got like a Veyron that puts like Walmart $99 for four tires on it. You're trying to do the race. Yeah. Can't even make a turn. 
It's like, thank you. Yeah, these turns, I gotta really watch out. It's the second I go to turn like I normally do a grip, you can feel it, not cooperating. On the 74 miles, I'll be there shortly. If all goes to plan, I should be repping a nice hefty paycheck. So, if I, as much as I beat my trailer up, it doesn't matter on the cargo. Yeah, as long as the cargo is undamaged, you're fine. I have no idea if the cargo took damage. That you was you a probably took some damage, crash. but uh, <laughs> you won't get penalized as hard because it's not the truck and trailer, it's not the trailer and cargo that you're delivering. Tesla clogging the left lane up on me. Standard Tesla stuff, man. They're almost as bad as the Pri. All times I've been in like a Tesla for like Uber and stuff, just get people who are just acceleration happy. They just like violently accelerate. <laughs> Most people have never had a car that accelerates like an electric motor does. Yeah, dude, this just goes and everyone that I've had they'll come back from dinner and get like a Tesla 3 or something next thing you know the dude's fucking just ripping it <laughs> you're like holy shit can't imagine being in like a performance model Elon's claiming the Roadster is going to be able to do a 0 to 60 on there a second if it is true I, I'm going to have to go experience that, that. I want to experience that. I just don't believe that. You might get me to buy an electric car next time if that's the okay. case. Probably shouldn't have something that quick. <laughs> Pure EVs are never going to work out like that. Uh, gotta have something with a burns. gas generator. Well, gas has a delay compared to electric. So. Well, if you have a gas generator powering the electric motors, like a real hybrid, then that's a lot, it's much more fuel efficient. You have much longer range, and you don't have to worry about building out a ridiculous electric infrastructure. Eh. The fuel infrastructure already exists across America, across most of the world. Eh, that's what EVs make sense for like a city, but not Definitely for not outside. Vehicles. Eh. That's what the our household RAV4 is a hybrid. I'm always tricking the gas engine to kick in because I don't have the patience to just run off the electric. <laughs> the mileage is nice. Especially compared to my car. My car is a gas guzzler even when I try not to be. Oh man, my, my R gets like 12 miles to the gallon. <laughs> Especially in city so driving. Oh yeah. Be doing like seven miles an hour in sixth gear, and I'm running like 2,000 something RPM. It's so ridiculously, <laughs> the gearing is so ridiculously sporty on that. I just leave my transmission in like comfort mode through like the manual setting, like road trips and stuff. So my lounge can't be too shabby. It can be like 30 plus on the highway cruising, but the way I drive, definitely not. Being on a road trip, you know, trying to get where I'm trying to go. It's the moral of the start. I think the best I've ever seen in the R doing a long trip was like 20-something. 
I, don't know. I was shocked. I'm surprised. That, yeah, low. that car is the car is 20 years old. Like highway. It's a five cylinder and it's turbocharged. It's not really intended to be fuel efficient. Yeah, that's true. I'm a... supposed to be the M3 competitor from Volvo. Yeah, back in that time period, I believe. I don't know yeah. about the modern one. No, no way, man. <laughs> I don't know if I can get in this, door, this garage door too low for me to pull There's, there's two sides. You can go in from the other side. Nope, the garage door is too low. Really? You gotta go in from the other side. I was gonna back in, but I thought I could sneak in through the other side and just pull straight through. But I, I just took the easy way. I'm trying to circle the whole lot to pull it back into there. Moral of the story, the goal is to get over 500k. I'm winning with 512, so. Probably could add like 600k plus if I didn't fuck up, but. We'll go ahead and, uh. Sure, a schedule real quick. I guess there's none to show, but uh, shout out to Brian RX. We got uh, no streams tomorrow. GTA 5 story returns on Monday. Shout out to MFR across the board. BT on Patreon. Appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. Like, sub. Peace out.